The theme for World Suicide Prevention Day is creating hope through action. And I wholeheartedly endorse this sentiment. I firmly believe that ensuring the best possible mental health outcomes for everyone in Northern Ireland is not just about words and platitudes, but also about action. Since becoming a health minister, I've made mental health one of my top priorities. And during that time, I've published the Mental Health Action Plan, including the COVID-19 Mental Health Response Plan. I've appointed Northern Ireland's first ever mental health champion and approved the creation of a specialist perinatal mental health service and managed care networks uh, for both CAMS and forensic mental health. Established a £10 million mental health charity support fund and initiated change across mental health services. The publication of a new 10-year mental health strategy in June provides us with a clear roadmap for the much needed reform of mental health services. Our crisis services exist to provide support to some of the most vulnerable patients in a very difficult time of their lives. I recognise that crisis services in Northern Ireland have to improve and that is recognised in Acts 27 of the strategy as well as Protect Life 2. A review of crisis services was carried out in early 2021 and the review report has been published. The new policy for regional crisis services in Northern Ireland seeks to provide a regional approach to mental health crisis where people get care and treatment when they need it, where they need it. It's a policy that focuses on the needs of the person rather than the system. And this is a new direction for crisis services. Originally, consistent crisis services will be established that will provide effective help and support for people in a crisis. One of the key themes of the Mental Health Strategy centres on promoting mental well-being, resilience and good mental health across society. There's a role for all of us here in creating hope through action. We need to encourage an open dialogue about mental health. We need to take that first step and start a conversation with someone we are worried about. It's about reaching out, asking, listening, talking and maintaining that important conversation. It has been an unprecedented 18 months with the pandemic affecting so many people's health and well-being. We need to be there now more than ever for those in distress with the message that you're not alone and help is available. May we all demonstrate compassion and work collectively to ensure that those who need help with their mental health can receive the help and support they need when they need it. Information on looking after your mental health and the support which is available across Northern Ireland can be found at www.mindingyourhead.info. The COVID Wellbeing NI part of the website contains a number of direct actions which can be taken to provide help and support. The support remains in place as we continue to battle COVID-19 and the impact of the pandemic on our community's mental health. Mental health services are also available to those who need it and can be accessed through your GP. So please remember, you're not alone and support is always available if needed.